Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a new episode of The Metal Meltdown. Just a quick update and a special announcement for y'all before we get started, before we sink our teeth into this delicious little steak of an album from German thrash metal crew Vulture. We are dangerously close to crossing the 4,000 subscriber line, which is insane for me for a multitude of reasons. I bring this up now for two reasons, the first of which being to say thank you for your continued support, your patronage, your love. This channel literally cannot and does not exist without you. Thank you. And second, to remind you that once we officially cross the 4,000 subscriber line, we will, by popular demand, finally return to Dream Daddy. You've been asking for this ever since the fucking Christmas stream, and you're finally gonna get it. All you gotta do is tell all your friends about the Metal Meltdown and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all, no more shilling in this video, I promise. Instead, let's move on to Dealing Death, the third studio album from Vulture. These past couple of weeks, I've been consumed in what feels like a never-ending vortex of bitching about Weezer, of bitching about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and of being absorbed in so much lush and evocative and emotionally driven black metal from bands like Seth and Panopticon. And don't get me wrong, it's been incredibly fascinating, a worthwhile experience overall, but you know what I could really fucking go for right now? Just a good old-fashioned, super greasy, super stupid, super in-your-face blast of hyper-explosive, violent, thrash and speed metal. At which point, German metal crew Vulture, apparently capable of reading my mind from an extreme distance, entered my life with their third studio album, Deal and Death. A remarkably authentic, bloodthirsty, and weirdly charming collection of 80s thrash and speed metal buffoonery delivered with the utmost optimism, confidence, and clarity. It is razor sharp, surgically precise, outrageously catchy and fun and entertaining from start to finish, and produced in a manner that successfully does capture the heart, the soul, the spirit of classic 80s thrash speed and heavy metal, without pandering to nostalgia and without devolving into a mediocre slice of cookie cutter metal. Wisely, the album doesn't waste any time delivering the thrash metal goods that any thrash metal maniac would expect from an album of this variety. As opening track Malicious Souls gets right down to business with some ferocious guitar work, some pummeling percussion, and some eccentric wailing vocals that weirdly bring to mind the late Paul Bailoff of Exodus fame. There's a real intensity and chaos to this number that reminds me of something we would hear from like very early creator, like a mix of the first two albums. But there's also a technicality and elegance, if you will, to some of the guitar playing, namely the guitar solos, that reminds me of the works of Testament guitarist Alex Skolnick, and in its most melodic moments, even the works of bands like Iron Maiden and Angel Witch. Altogether, alongside the very raw, reverb-heavy sound mix makes for an infectiously entertaining heavy metal brew, which remarkably remains every bit as potent, as effective, as tasty, even as the album goes on. This is truly a no-filler, all-killer thrash metal record. From the tongue-in-cheek pummeling riff monster of Count Your Blessings, to the surprisingly somewhat dramatic groove-laden swings of Below the Mausoleum, to the oddly somewhat progressive multi-part heavy metal banger, Star Cross City. Starting off as a pretty manic, thrashy speed metal number, the track very quickly introduces some elements that I would expect from the likes of mid-80s Iron Maiden and weirdly even Slayer. With some super sweet twin guitar licks, some epic soundscapes, contrasted by some kinda heavy and dark guitar breakdowns. 
Very wisely, this is not the only instance where not-so-subtle changes are made to the Vulture formula on the album. The closing number, Court of Caligula, for instance, initially starts off as a pretty straightforward piece of Judas Priest worship, before introducing some more epic songcraft that I would normally expect from, like, some very early European or American power metal. The track Gorgon arguably has a little bit of a first-wave black metal underbelly to it, as well, especially in some of the more over-the-top guitar and vocal performances here. There are quite a few vocal deliveries on this particular cut that, if you ask me, would not be out of place on a Merciful Fate record. Even the hyper-provocative, neck-snapping extreme thrash of my native Canada has appeared to have played a minor part in influencing aspects of this record, namely on the title track Deal and Death which really does at times feel like some long-lost collaboration between Evil Invaders era Razor and War and Pain era Voivod. Most impressively, as much material as Vulture cram into a single album, Deal and Death never quite overstays its welcome, wrapping up right around the time where you think you're maybe done and ready to move on to something else. It's not overwhelming, it's not heavy-handed, as I said before, there's really no filler whatsoever, it is just a consistently really great, extreme, and surprisingly versatile thrash record from start to finish, chock full of great performances, fantastic production, and just really fantastic thrash shit. I don't, I don't really know what else to say, I feel like I've touched upon it all already. As such, I feel very comfortable giving this a very enthusiastic 4 to 5. This is a fucking great record. Longtime viewers of the Metal Meltdown will already know that I often treat thrash metal the same way I treat junk food. I know it's not good for me, I know that there are healthier, better options out there, but frankly, I don't fucking care, because every once in a while, you just need a really stupid, greasy fucking cheeseburger with chipotle mayo, applewood smoked bacon, onion rings, french fries, perfectly seasoned, cooked medium, and that's exactly what Deal and Death from Vulture is. But in a year where thrash metal, for the first time in a long while, has served us many consistently juicy cheeseburgers, this one stands out to me, at the moment, as one of the best. No disrespect to Evile, Cryptosis, Enforced, Necromantheon, or anyone else out there, but this right here, this is the real shit. This is the real fucking deal. So 4 to 5, a fucking great album, quite possibly the juiciest thrash metal cheeseburger of 2021 so far. Shut the fuck up, pull that stick out of your ass, and take a goddamn bite. I promise you won't regret it. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe right here so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown. He fucking immediately, and as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.